Whether we're ready or not, we're getting into the holiday season, everybody. And that means that people are starting to think about what to get the geek in your life, that best gift, something that they hadn't seen before, or something that they've been longing for, something that is kind of a, you know, just like a like a fun outlier. Thankfully, Will, you've you've done some heavy lifting here and you've got some ideas. So what are we starting with? I think we should start with the screwdriver set. This is the classic geek gift, but everybody mm -hmm. should have a good screwdriver set. And and the Traditional recommendation is a thing with like 150 bits in it that it will let you open up every single device you you have in your house. This That's not what this set is. This is your workday screwdrivers. These are the ones that you use in your PC. I think you can open a, a iPhones, iOS devices. Uh, you can open Nintendo devices because it has the trilobe. It has pentalobe. Uh, it has uh, uh, Torx bits, Phillips, and just standard flat screwdrivers. And it's a really, really usable small screwdriver, whether you're working on your eyeglasses or, or digging around inside your PC case. Uh, with magnetic tips too, which are incredibly handy. Is it I, individual screwdrivers for each bit or replaceable bits? So these like are individual. These are individual screwdrivers. It's like fifteen screwdrivers. Uh, each one has its own that. has a specific yeah. head. The the ones with the bits are great, but I often find that the the thing that holds the bits in places is too thick to fit mm -hmm. into the places you need to get the screwdriver head. So that's yeah. why I start with this one and then go to the other one if we want to have a, a more comprehensive set. All right, let's talk coffee. Uh, this is this the next one is the next level. Uh, so the first one was the iFixit uh, Marlin screwdriver set. I'm going to say name so people, audio listeners, know what we're talking about. Uh, the the next one is the next level Pulsar Brewer, which is a new kind of coffee brewer. It's called a zero bypass coffee brewer. This one was designed uh, by an astrophysicist in, in collaboration with the Next Level folks, and they're called zero bypass because it's designed to not allow any water to go past the filter, past the coffee as it goes around the filter into the into the the end drain into your cup so you end up with a um a more controlled brewing mechanism than you have with like a pour over or uh, uh something like that the neat thing about this is that they add a valve on the bottom so you you have this you have a round tube there's a cylinder you put the coffee in you can let it steep for as long as you want and then you can release the valve to let the coffee drain into your cup and you so you get kind of the best of both worlds of like a brewed coffee of a french press style brewed coffee mm. uh that's mm -hmm. a percolated coffee like a like a like a pour over um and it's i think the closest analog that you all might be familiar with is like at the aeropress upside down technique yeah, where it you like that, doesn't yeah it? but but you can do a bigger cup so you can do five five eight hundred grams of coffee no problem whereas the aeropress caps out at like 250 i think well and i for anybody who's sort of like nah, i don't drink coffee this works for tea as well Work, works for tea you can do loose tea in it because there's a paper filter in the bottom uh -huh. so so you get a night whether you're doing coffee or tea you get a nice clean cup with no sediment um and and like it's new enough that people are just starting to kind of figure out exactly what how how like the best ways to use this there's 300 recipes for this online right now wow. I've been, I mean, it's an exaggeration. There's probably 20, but every barista who's tried it has come up with something <laughs> different 20. and a different twist. And, and, but at, at the end of the day, you can use it just like you'd use a French press and there's just get a filtered, filtered brew at the end that doesn't have all the sediment that comes in at the bottom of a typical wire mesh uh, French press. Um, all right. Well, let's talk about if you, for whatever reason, uh, need to get a little bit more light on uh, some small, little factors of uh tinker tinkering around within a pc so this is my uh classic classic recommendation if you're working a pc or walking your dog after dark it's really nice to have a good headlamp you put it on uh this this one in particular is the as the black diamond cosmo 350 you can get a uh a 20 version that's about the same as this it just doesn't do the dim dimming or spotlight features i i think the 35 dollars is a kind of sweet spot especially for a, for a gift um and it's fantastic because when you're looking in the PC, when you drop a screw in there or something, when you're working, trying to get the memory in the slot and it's all dark down there, you can put the light right where you're looking. Um, and, and everybody who, who works in PCs should really have one of these. When I started putting them in my toolkits, made my life uh, dramatically better. Oh, my gosh. I mean, what uh, you know, precision stuff like what you're mentioning or walking the dog at night. Really nice not to have one hand that is holding a flashlight. If you hold yeah. the poop bag and the flashlight with the same hand, eventually there's going to be tragedy. And you don't have a lot of leeway here, people. Nope. Yes. Yes. Nope. I, I, I'm with you on this. A good headlamp is something I did not know I needed until a couple of years ago. And the one that I got is fine, but this one looks real nice. 
these the batteries last like 15 20 hours you you don't have to have to think about it when i go camping it lasts the entire time i'm gone usually it's they're they're highly recommended all right, uh, let's talk power strips, Will. Uh, power strips uh, are not a one-size-fits-all situation. So what are your holiday picks? So I really love these Anker power strips. Uh, they have decent USB chargers built in. Typically, you see a power strip with a USB port, and it's like a 500 milliamp uh, port that won't charge a modern phone even. Uh, these come up to 60-watt versions. This particular one is the uh, 332, I think, which is like six, uh, six uh, 120 volt plugs and then three USB ports, two A's and a C. Uh, this is a 20 watt version, so it'll charge a phone. It'll also top up an iPad or, or your Steam Deck or whatever you want to plug into it. Um, but like I said, if you want to charge your laptop, you can get up to 60 watts and you don't have a bunch of wall warts hanging off of it. So I put them, I like, I kind of run them underneath the sofas that they're available. Uh, so there's USB cables for people who are sitting on the sofa and need to top off. Yeah, the USB <laughs> outlet nice part is really you. cool. Yeah, I like that. But Sarah, <laughs> people are me in this case. So <laughs> I was about to be like, you're a nicer person than I am. Cause I'd be like, oops, sorry, no charger. Gotta go. See ya. Yeah. Bye. No, no, Get no. Out of my house. I just I don't I don't want to have to put my phone down while I'm watching TV. What what, what, I, what do I do? It's I'd have to pay attention to whatever's <laughs> on the television. That's horrible. Mm, indeed, indeed. Okay, so this uh, this next uh, this next pick of yours is actually something that I I bought just in the last couple of months, and I'm quite blown away by. That's the AirPods Pro too. So what do you like about them? Yeah, I, I've been using uh, AirPods uh, the the Pros specifically for a couple of years now, and I upgraded my ones to twos last year when I was when I when I crushed one. Um, the the what, the thing that blows me away about the new one is this new feature that's coming with the last version of iOS adds an adaptive transparency mode. So it used to be you could do noise canceling or you could do transparency, and the transparency mode is 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 kind of impressive. The noise canceling is great. The transparency mode is impressive because it actually sounds like you don't have earplugs in. Right, you can hear the world around you. Your voice sounds right in your head, all the things that don't usually work with in-ear monitors. Um, the adaptive transparency kind of splits the difference, and the noise canceling isn't quite as good, but you hear it filters out the noises you don't want to hear, like fan noise and car rumble and stuff like that, but you can still hear people around you talking or footsteps or cars so that you don't, you know, if you're if you're out jogging or something, you don't jump into traffic by There's accident safety. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, I, oh, mm -hmm. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, but, no, but I'm, just, they I, also I'm, I'm the... just about to agree with you. Go, go, you do it, Will. <laughs> no, they're 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 really lovely. Um, you know, if I take a nap, I put them in the in the noise canceling mode and just kind of hook it up to the Apple TV in my bedroom and and put on music or, or some TV show that is is quiet and and works well. Um, and I, the, the only time I can't use them really is when I'm sitting in front of my PC, just because they don't work particularly well with Windows. I'm uh, quite fond of mine as well. And I was a real holdout because I didn't used to like the look of AirPods. I was like, eh, you know, they're sticking out of your ear. It's kind of, you know, those sort of white sticks. Um, I thought that they looked silly. Um, and at some point, I just, I don't know, uh, my jobbers bit the dust. Um, and I decided to go AirPods Pro too. Um, and I have had so much fun with these these headphones. I mean, they're... They're nice earbuds. And I know that there are other options. You know, people <laughs> right now are screaming like, no, they're not the only option that you have. And in fact, they're more expensive than certain other options. All true. But these are very nice and they play really well with Apple products. So if you're in the ecosystem, it's a it's a very nice gift. Uh, and then the last thing that I like to pair, like I don't like the one of the things I've never really liked the way AirPods fit. The same as you, Sarah. Like the the old ones, the stick only ones, kind of fell out of my ear. The in air ones, in ear ones are better, but I don't like the kind of rubber uh, gaskety uh, ear piece that they put on those. Uh, so I bought a pair of like fifteen dollar Comply foam tips for the AirPods Pro. Uh, they snap on and off really easily. Uh, you can get them in a. I think they come in multi size packs if you don't know what size foam tip you use, or you can get a. Uh, you can get just three sets of the of the um, of the same size once you kind of size yourself uh, and they they help with the noise isolation they help them stay in a little bit better they're i find them to be more comfortable um mm. especially if i'm jogging or something like that so yeah it's a, it's i, I nice added upgrade. these to my wish list right now while you were talking because they just they just look so much better than those silicon ones that they're fine they don't fall out of my ear or anything but these just look so much more comfortable the only complaint i have about them is they only come in black so you so you have, so then you don't look like you're wearing airpods 
uh, Sarah. It's good. I see on Amazon electric blue, lilac, purple, black, and pine green. You can't, yeah, you, I mean, if you want to go electric purple, you're totally, but like, that, but you're, that part is like in your ears. That's not really a, you know, they a still feature, show. right? Kind of, I guess. Depends how weird your ears are. I mean, Will, if, I, as a weird I've, ear person, let me tell you, look, sometimes it, it can get rather deep. I have a narrow canal, so it's not, mm. not really a problem for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, we are it, blessed with narrow canals. Will. <laughs> Not everybody has that blessing, but yes, uh, no, this is, this is great for anybody who's interested in AirPods and wants to make them a little bit comfier, uh, really good Com the comply foam ear tips. It's also worth mentioning that comply makes foam tips for basically every set of in-ear buds you can imagine. Like they have like all the way, whatever you want, the Jabra's the, the they will have a, a set of tips for you if you go to their website. So, and they're all about the same price. Fantastic.